Hey, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to some FIFA 20 penalties. Now, there is a new penalty system here on FIFA 20, and uh, I was able to capture some of this at Gamescom. So, big shouts to EA and the Game Changers Network for flying me to Gamescom to capture this footage for you guys. Uh, and what you're going to see is a few minutes worth of me just sitting in the arena trying to work on these penalties. A lot of them will be absolutely terrible, but I wh what I wanted to do was just show you roughly what what it looks like uh, the new techniques and uh, I will be back in a couple of weeks with a proper tutorial when I next get my hands on the game so um Penalties. Oh, and by the way, at the uh, at the end of the little section here in the arena, there will be some highlights from an El Clasico game, a different one to the video I uploaded the other day, uh, where the game actually ends in a penalty shootout, so you can see them in game as well. So I'll just talk for a couple of minutes and then let you watch the match. But um, so basically, this is a new penalty system in FIFA 20. Uh, it has, I would say, uh, this is it's like a similar technique to corners, whereby you have this this circle marker. And it's like elastically stuck to like the middle. So whereas on a corner it's kind of stuck to like the penalty spot, it is elastic. It's elastically stuck to the very centre of the goal. So you are moving this this circle, but if you let go of the left analog stick, it's gonna ping back towards the middle, and that's where your shot's gonna go. So uh, it's it's something that you definitely need to bear in mind as you're striking the ball. So um, it's quite difficult to hold that in position as well as running up, taking the shot, and all of that good stuff. Uh, so it's it's another level of skill added to actually taking penalties as your players run up to the ball. Now, head movement is still a thing, as is the moving of goalkeepers on the line. They can do like the the taunts and stuff to try and uh, put you off somewhat. Uh, but yeah, you can see like if you fully aim towards like the top right, for example, your player's head will slightly turn uh, and give it kind of give it away, uh, which is something we're used to and have seen in the past. Uh, so it's going to take even more skill to maybe go one way and then fake it and bluff and go the other way in order to, uh, to to throw your opponent's goalkeeper off. So I'm missing penalties left, right and centre here. And what I've done is I've turned the target off because, it, let's face it, when we're in Champions games and stuff, we're not going to have the target at our disposal. We're going to just have to learn how to do this. So that's what I wanted to try and learn. And as you can see, it's pretty difficult. So... Um, when taking penalties in matches where the circle doesn't show up, like what I've got on screen right now, uh, you'll feel vibrations as you move closer to the post or the bar. Uh, so, you know, I've put the target back on now because it was very difficult, but uh, as you move closer and closer towards... Uh, the, the, the edges towards the, the post, like let's say that one right there where I stick it right in the corner, um, it would have it would have started to vibrate my controller more and more and more as I get close to that. Uh, and then obviously it would like shut off once I've gone past the post. So uh, it's a little, uh, it's just a useful technique to, to let you know, oh, you're getting very close to the goal, mate. So it's something that is going to take muscle memory, is going to take a lot of learning. So uh, you hold shoot for longer and, you know, in order to get more and more power on the ball. Uh, but the chances of error when you add that shooting up is, is going to be higher with a with the larger shooting circle. So you can see that this, the circle gets bigger and bigger as as you put more power on it and as you move that that circle as the ball's being struck. Um, and, and that's one thing to bear in mind because timed shooting is is apparent within within this within the penalty system, right? So you'll see on a couple of these that some of them will go green, some of them will go yellow, some will go red, and a lot of them I didn't even bother timing because I was just trying to learn it. But time shooting is a part of this, and it's another thing that you're going to need to learn. You're going to need to strike it just before your player strikes it. Hit that shoot button again in order to time it green. That's going to allow you for the, the allow the ball to go closer to like the middle of that circle where you aimed. Like that was a perfect penalty right there, for example. Um, however, if I would have hit it red. That circle was huge towards the edge of the goal, uh, and it could have gone absolutely flying. Um, so, I mean, there's lots to think about. You've got to carefully place the ball. Uh, you've got to hold it there. You've got to make sure it's not obvious where you're going. Uh, and you've got to add the correct amount of power and timing to your shot so that it goes green. Uh, and, of course, take into account the different shot types. You know, finesse shot, regular shot, chip shot. 
so, you know, as th that's come towards the end of the arena stuff now. That's the, all the penalties that I have for you. And there are some at the end of this match right here. But penalties in FIFA 20, it seems like it's going to be a, a pretty steep learning curve and something that you're going to want to spend some time, let's face it, like in the arena or in the skill games uh, when you get your hands on the game to learn this. Uh, uh, I think some feedback that I've given before is that the elasticity, it, it, it moves, like that circle moves way back to the goal kind of quick and I feel like there maybe should be a little bit more weight to it so I'm going to feed that back again uh, to hopefully see a little bit of change there because it might be slightly too difficult uh, on the attacking team and a little bit easier on the goalkeeper um, so my final little tip for you guys would be let's face it if we're all struggling at the start to, to get the direction on these penalties then um, just think about it what would you do if you're struggling with the direction you'd probably just shoot it down the middle right so uh, that, that could be a good shout for if you're a goalkeeper trying to save a penalty at the start of FIFA 20. Maybe just stay down the middle because if they if they shoot it left or right, there's a chance it's going wide or over. Uh, whereas if they shoot it down the middle, at least your goalkeeper's there to maybe save it. So that would be my advice to you. Um, as well as... Uh, if you hold down on the left analog stick, uh, the ball, the the circle will only go as far down as the actual goal line itself. So you can hold down on the left analog stick and then slowly move that left analog stick out a little bit more and more, uh, and you'll be able to hold the ball in the lower sections of the goal easier than you would if you were to able if you were holding it in the top sections of the goal. You know, because you can hold it and it would go over the bar. So uh, that's another little tip for you. But like I said, I'll be back with a proper in-depth real to tutorial for you guys in a couple of weeks time when I get to play the game next uh, I just I recorded this at the very end of my capture session and I wanted to bring it to you guys but obviously I'll do a far more in-depth one so you can learn a little bit better with some better techniques and stuff in a couple of weeks uh, and I'll also do one for free kicks as well because they are new and they've changed uh, and I'm pretty sure they're quite difficult as well but if you master them it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good time so what I'll do now is I'll just let you enjoy uh, the rest of this gameplay it's not just a full game gameplay um, I have cut it up to the slightly more interesting sections it's 1-1 one, one, as you can see right now once again I was playing against Miss Barca so her link will be down in the description uh, I'll let you watch this I'll let you listen to the commentary and all of that good stuff uh, and I'll catch you soon with some more videos guys that's the last one from my FIFA 20 uh, Gamescom collection so uh, it's gonna be a little while now until I upload again just because uh, FIFA 19 has sort of gone now so uh, I'm gonna take this time to recharge and get the batteries ready for uh, for ready for grinding on FIFA for 20 coming up real soon thank you so much for watching smash that thumbs up button if you found this useful or interesting let me know what you think of the new penalty system are you uh, are you a fan do you want it to be more skill based um or, or would you prefer it to be easier uh, i'd uh, very much like to know thanks for watching guys enjoy the second half and uh, and the penalties that this game has to offer and i'll catch you next time peace Five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Sergio Roberto. They've ceded possession, Barca. And very deftly cut out. Suarez. De Jong. Well, he's got for them to counter-attack here. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. And now here's Aiden Azar. Well, that was a fine counter-attack, but no end product, Lee. Yeah, it lacks a little composure at the end, Derek, but they're so lethal on the break with the pace they have. Who intercepts. Given away by Barcelona. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Gonna get a try. And a goal! Well, here it is. How do you like him? In an open goal, please. No goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were the all? Hazard. This is Kroos. Real Madrid moving the ball with purpose. What can they do from this position?
Rakitic. And it's a quality pass. Messi with the corner. And offside there, it wasn't really close. Well, Ross failed to hold it. Rakitic. Rakitic! No real threat from the short save by Kurt. He has teammates to play it to. Piquet. Busquets. And he takes it on. Without the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Suarez! What late excitement, and the match is level. Well, here's the replay. It comes off the keeper, and he's every right to ask where his defenders are. They were second to react, and he's in the back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. A moment he dearly wishes he could have back. Well, I thought he was in, and he did too, but no. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he squandered it off target. Well, he looked nervous, didn't he? And he scores from the spot. Confident, head down, lovely strike. And he steps up to take the shot. Job done from the spot. Well, professional job, well done. Keeper got the touch on the ball, but penalty converted. Yeah, it's all about gambling. He'd gone the right way as well, but just can't keep it out. Can he get... And you've got to say, that was a wild penalty attempt. Oh, it's a country mile. He's missed it by a country mile. And just like that, he's come up with the save. Well, you have to have strong hands as a goalkeeper, and look at that. His turn to try to convert from the spot. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Bread and butter, Derek, bread and butter. That is a moment he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he's probably practiced that all week and he's hit it straight at the goalkeeper. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending! Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves are still needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? But the end result is there for all to see. What a night.